My name is Diana Lee. I am 85. I swear a lot, and none of my friends swear the way I do. My favorite part of growing up was probably when I went to a private school in Ontario for two years, my last two years of high school, because I grew up in a, in a small town in northern Quebec and they didn't have the last two years of high school, so I went away. So I had a couple of boyfriends there, and then when I went back to Arvada in the summertime, I had a boyfriend there, so that was always a bit of a problem. But it worked out really well, I thought. Well, I really admired the Dean of Science, and he was always very encouraging, and he's the one who, I want to take engineering, he pointed me into chemistry instead. There were only two of us in the program. I went to Queen's University in Kingston, and uh, my greatest accomplishments are probably scholastic ones. Uh, I have never thought of having four children as being that much of an achievement. I mean, it's just a natural process, so. Uh, but I think uh, graduating in chemistry was, to me, a big achievement because at that time there weren't that many women in um, science professions. When we came back to Edmonton in the early 60s, I um, joined the art gallery and became part of their docent program, which is, docent means to lead in Latin, and that was mainly what I went for, was to learn about art. I think I still like abstract art rather than figurative. The reason we have so much figurative is because my, my husband preferred that. I think because of the emotional outlet, and, and I think that's what learning about art, how learning about art helps. You learn what to look for and, you know, you look at a picture and you, it makes you feel sad or it makes you feel happy and you know, try and figure out why does it make me feel this way. <laughs> I had my own used book business and I operated from home. Yeah, I had about 13,000 books, as my husband said. Bookshelves in every room except the bathrooms. <laughs> When I look at Native art, I see more emotion in it. There's more a response because it's there, it's their life, right? They're, it's either joyful or it's sad or it's... I play the trombone. I don't think I'm particularly talented, but uh, I've always had music in my life. I played the piano and then when I retired I decided that rather than play bridge the rest of my life I would pick up an instrument and I have written a novel. I told you that in a couple of one night plays. None, none of which is because I'm particularly talented. It's just because I like doing it. <laughs>